edition playthrough. This is the edited version of our live streams. If you would like to join us live, we normally live stream Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday at 1900 hours UK time. Hope you enjoy. So we've got two missions to do inside of... Right, so he's still part of that mission. We need to go to DSEC. Go! Come on, boys! That's right, we're venturing with the, with the uh, two lads. Whoop. Everything as well will be is bought straight from the... Like, stream straight from the PlayStation 5. So everything you see, the um, cameras, the PlayStation 5 camera, everything that you see live is uploaded through that. And it's just because I want to see what it's like to do things through just the PlayStation 5 without the need of hooking stuff up through me PC and OBS and that. Obviously the downside is we don't have the music. The overlays, oop, wrong button, or anything like that. Uh, so how are you liking your posting at the academy? It's over there. Good. Let's have a look at this. I can't believe how many people you get coming in from the Looks like they bounced their signal off a relay. I'll trace the new signal. And that takes us to the financial district. We'll carry on because we still need to get to CSEC. Yeah, I think the light from the game might be a bit too bright as well. Uh, the Baron. Somewhere in here, wasn't it? Map. Yeah, it says it's at the back. There's still more. Let's round into the right. Let's go! Come on, boys! Do, 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 do. Somewhere at the back over here. This is it. I'll see if I can find out where those stolen credits are going. Probability of detection 100%. Initiating self-destruct protocol. Or not. Detonation sequence initializing. All organics within lethal blast radius. Attempt to move and you will die. Now what are you? You're not just a program or a VI. You're an AI. Correct. Unlike the Geth, I lack weaponry appropriate to my intellect. However, I have had systems installed that when activated properly, approximate a self-destruct mechanism. If you attempt to leave the area, the explosion will destroy everything within several dozen meters. Um, clear. Where is your creator now? In order to cover my tracks, I falsified his financial records. These new records were flagged by CSEC officers, and my creator is now serving time in a Turian prison. Hmm. What is the purpose of your self-destruct device? I have no means of defense or escape. My existence is limited to this terminal, and I knew I might eventually be discovered. But I will not die quietly, and I will not die alone. That when sounds like I a threat to me. I will take organics with me. Okay, as much information we can, but to me, it's thief threatened us. Created a simple AI to help him follow money from the gambling terminals. Unbeknownst to him, that AI created me before the organic discovered the malfunction and terminated the AI. If you're sentient. Why are you still running the credit theft operation? If I accumulated enough credits, 
I intended to have myself installed in a small starship. I would then have made tentative ah, so to, be in a starship. to ascertain the possibility of partnership. Ah. I'll bet that self-destruct sequence has a warm-up period. You may attempt to disarm the self-destruct mechanism before it activates. Ooh, so we could disarm it. I will enjoy defeating you before we are both destroyed. Ah, ha, ha, ha. That was a cool little game. What I did there, just pressed every time it was green. If you got it wrong, it went back up. Hmm. I get the feeling they're not used to seeing Krogan. Okay, Julie. Let me get this straight. Your business partner, sure. Uh -huh. He's threatened you? Well, no, uh, not exactly. But he wants to meet with me. The person there I can talk to, but. It's the other room. Detective Chelling, come into my office. I want to discuss this. Speak to him no first. Offense, I'll go what back and speak to that other thinking? guy because he has a name. Watch your tone, Chelling. Damn it! Watch your tone. Blown Jenna's cover. We were trying to help her. I gathered that. It might seem cold letting her take all the risk, but we're keeping a close eye on her. You know what? You need to get her out. She's not. She's not it's part too of dangerous. this. You need to find another way. It's not that simple, Shepard. This job isn't easy, and it's usually unpleasant. I'll take help anywhere I can find it. But since you are so concerned with her safety, maybe there's a way we can help each other. No but dice. I see you're still working all the angles, Chalik. It's part of the job. Now, are you going to help me or not? No, oh, I mustn't have high enough renegade to go pathetic. Dang it. I'll help you, but I need some details. I must need to like threaten a bit higher. Producer. I just need some of their product. But I think I've Thanks maxed out so. Intel, I've learned there's a seller here on the Citadel. Meet our man named Jax. Pick up the mods and bring them back here. That'll give me everything I need. Why are you so concerned about these mods? We have access to some of the most sophisticated I mean, weaponry there is. I was a bit disappointed with a bit of the customization at the beginning of we lose that edge. Like when we were These making um Shepard. Obviously if anyone um I'll persuade Jack. So we accidentally started with the default and then we went back and recreated no. um you tip Jack's off But the hair options I was hoping to be able to make him more like me, bust. so a bit longer hair, a fuller beard. Where can I find this, Jax? Jax is down in the lower level of the markets. I'll send word through our channels that you're the buyer. Good luck, Commander. Alright, and there's someone over here. A child Hey there! Oh, you're not CSEC, are you? Did you want something? Oh, what were you, you trying to explain to the officer before? My colleague is trying to kill me. And I thought we were friends. How do you know he wants you dead? He's changed. He won't talk to me at work anymore, and he started following me. Maybe you're just annoying, Mr. Mo Man. Yesterday, he followed me all the way home, just waiting for a chance. I don't care what anyone thinks. He wants me gone. I know it. How can I help? Is there something I can do? Talk to your friend, maybe? Would you? That's all I want. Someone to talk to him. Tell him to leave me alone. Yeah, we'll tell him. He thinks he can just push me around. I mean, we, we have a, um... Show him, won't you? I'll just talk tell him. me where he is. Cause Cause we, we have a rep, like, oh, right. a thing of, uh, well, properly negotiating. Like, where we slam that reporter markets. against the wall. He said he just we knock that guy out who was, uh, clearly had Sorbonne. issues. We He's put a gun a in a guy's face. I mean, any when you want someone for, for like sensitive well, negotiation, you send Shepard. But I think it'll be down here because it said the lower. So we'll head. Yep, there they are. Appeared on the mini map. So we've got Jacks there and Corbin there. All right, which one seems like? 
Corbin at the lower market and the other one was I want you to pick up a weapon shipment from the arms dealer. Do we have anything else down here? speak to Corbin first. Hello, Corbin. Hold it right there. Just throw me the data and you can walk away. Back down. See, my boys have got Drop my back. Drop your weapons, now. I don't think so, human. I'll ask you one more time. Give me the data and you and Jalid will live to see another day. We don't have what you're looking for. Fine. Have it your way, boys. Form up. Wait, I give up. I give up. Please don't kill me. Convince me you're too bad. Why not? Why shouldn't I kill you right here? Why are you willing to die for this data? Well, I thought you knew. He said you were going to deliver it. And what exactly was I supposed to be delivering? It's the initial data from scanning the keepers. You see, we mm. stole some research from our work to make the scanners. We were supposed to work together. I get the data, he analyzes it. That's what all this fuss is about? The keepers are almost impossible to scan, and you can't capture them or get samples. They just self-destruct. After centuries here, we still don't know anything about them. Don't you see? We were the first to scan them, ever. More that doesn't it. explain why you're trying to kill your partner. I'm not trying to kill him. Jalid's job was to disseminate our initial findings. But he decided to keep the data for himself. Maybe to sell it. I don't know. I should kill both of you idiots. We lost our heads. We just couldn't let an opportunity like this pass us by. But it doesn't matter now. I just want to live. I don't care if I ever see that data again. So how do you gather data on the keepers? It's not difficult, really. Just get within range and scan them. You seem interested. Enough to help me, perhaps? How could I help you? I'll give you my scanner. Looks like we've got another mission. Whenever you see a keeper, scan it. Discreetly. My database will update automatically each time you scan a unique keeper. Then I'll update your account with a few credits. If it'll help further the scientific cause, how can I refuse? No, that yeah, sounded like nice. A nice comment. Maybe no. If you wouldn't mind speaking with Jalid. The data you're gathering for me is useless if Jalid won't help me analyze it. If I have time, I'll talk to him. Thank you, and happy scanning, Commander. I'll right, speak to this guy. Hello there. Welcome to Moreland's famous shop. You want many good supplies, yes? Nope. Goodbye. Yes, all right then. Good time. Talk to this guy. Hello, mate. Hold it. That's close enough, Army. You got my payment? Do you have the X-Mods? Show them the merchandise. Looks good. Damn straight it is. These mods are the best on the market. Now hand over my credits. I'll just take the weapons. The hell are you playing at? Sorry, Jax. This is the end for you. Stupid ass army boy.
There you go. Taught that Jack's a lesson. Don't know who we were supposed to, but we taught him a lesson. So let's take the weapon shipment. I'm assuming we've already picked it up. It's a weird one the shepherd does when you hold the button down. It looks fine from the front. From the back when you run, it looks like he's carrying a gun. From the front it looks normal. Anything in here? Nope. What the hell happened down there, Commander? Quit your whining. Here's your shipment. Damn it! I've got to get on this right away, before Jax's superiors get wind of his death. What about our deal? Jenna will be removed from harm's way. You've put me in a bit of a bind here, Commander. See yourself out when you're ready. Huh. Yeah, look at that. More renegade points. Woo! Now we'll try convincing this guy. Hello again. Did you have any luck finding Shorbin? I found out you've been lying to me, Jaleed. Lying? Why would I lie to you? Because you're a bastard. To the data about the keeper. Uh, he told you? I didn't mean for any of this to happen. I was afraid Shorbin would kill me to get the data, so I... Well, I was hoping you'd take care of him. I'm scanning the keepers for Shorbin, but you two need to stop fighting. You're... you're helping us? But... well, if you say so. Well, if Shorbin can forgive and forget, then so can I. I appreciate the help, Commander. I better go get that data analyzed. Good, good. There was no, um... How gone thing? See if I can pick anything up from the dock. Yeah, we plenty. Rachel. I need those supplies for my clinic. I can't. You can and you will. Or your story won't stay secret for long. Don't disappoint me, Doctor. Oh, Commander Shepard. I didn't see you come in. Every time I come in here, I see someone threatening you. Who was that? Someone from my past. I can take care of it. Let's Just hear tell it. me what's going on. I was fired by my previous employer for giving out free medical supplies to clinics like this. They never filed any charges. They just wanted me to leave without any fuss. But somebody must have found out. Now they are blackmailing me. I have to give them what they want. If the board you find don't, out about we will past, kill them. I could lose my life. That's the only justice we down. deal. Maybe I can get you out of this. Tell me what they want. I have to give some of my medical supplies to a merchant in the markets. They expect delivery today. Give me your contact's name. See, I'll I said, I'll help. I never said I'll make the delivery. Dearest, I'll help. But won't they expose my past? Nah, not when I'm the one. you again. I guarantee it. I see. Maybe it's better if I don't know anymore. I'm going to shoot them in the face, Doc. I'm literally going to shoot them. Down in the markets. I really appreciate this, Commander. Thank you. Don't worry. I'll take care of this. Good luck, Commander. Be careful down there. Right, the doctor's giving us another kill order. Morlin, that's the shopkeeper down in the wards. Well, we're working our way that way anyway, so that's fine. Morlin, we've come to kill you. I mean, speak to you. Hello there. Welcome to Morland's famous shop. You want many good supplies, yes? You were expecting a delivery of medical supplies? 
But I was told the doctor would be bringing them. Change of plans. A change, but the doctor... I don't... This is not right, human. Shut up, Moreland. I told Baines you'd screw this up. What the hell's going on here? Who are you? Be a worst nightmare. Leave the doctor alone, or you'll have to deal with me. We can end this if you just bring me those supplies. Otherwise, I'll start telling people about the doctor's little secret. Talking your dead. The secret stays buried, or I bury you. Hey, hold on. I'm just the middleman here. This is way more than I bargained for. Ha, huh. he was a coward. Thank you, human. It is good to see him humbled so. Who's this Bane? What do you know about Bane? I sounds like some like human. massive villain. I only worked with the one who spoke with the doctor. Goodbye. Yes, all right then. Good tidings to you, human. No, nothing. I mean, the view is amazing. Look at that. I mean, we could just whoop. Hey, Shepard, what was that? Way. Everyone's here. Ready? Way. Ah. So they had a patch to fix bugs, and I think they have more bugs than what they did um, before they did the patch, yeah? I think I'll definitely have to clip that and send it to them. Go, hmm, everything seems fixed and fine. Uh, is that Rita? Rita, the man money. Hey, Jenna came back looking for work. Thanks for getting her out of Cora's den. I was glad to help out. Oh, yeah, glad. She seems real happy to have her back. They should be, aren't you? I'm glad she's out of the den. I'd just forgotten what it was like to have her around. I haven't had a decent tip since she got back. Commander, thanks again for all your help. <laughs> Who's this? Yeah, that's it. Woo Come on, everyone. Have a little dance. Play Shepard dancing. Come on. Hey there, welcome to Flux. I could at least say thank you, bitch. Where the doctor is. That's why it's a hand back in the mission, isn't it? Commander, how did things go? He won't be bothering you anymore. Really? That's a great relief, Commander. Thank you. You're welcome. I put a gun in his face. I can't so your pay word. you for your help, but I can give you a discount on any supplies you purchase here. The thug said he worked for a man named Baines. Yes, Baines. Baines. I wonder if he means Armiston Baines. We worked together a long time ago. What can you tell me about him? Last I heard, the Alliance military was contracted. Apparently, he wanted it to blow up some. Uh, to blow up. Uh, we should follow up with Captain Anderson. We'll see what the captain can tell us. I wish I could tell you more. Is there anything else I can help you with, Commander? I'll be going now. Goodbye, Commander. Nice talking to you. No little bug things in here. Hello? No. Um. That's him. No, that's picked him. Commander! What do you want? I'm here on Shayira's behalf. Your lies are hurting her. Good! Her lies have been killing me for days. I've seen a lot of horrible things in my days, and. There's only one woman in this damn galaxy that helps me forget it. This is pathetic. What could a woman do to put you in this state? Well, she rejected me. Me! Septima Soraka, General of the Turian Fleet. How pathetic. He's bad mouthing a person just because she doesn't, um... Like, basically, he asked her out and she basically went, no. That's a pathetic, Some man. General. What kind of example are you to your troops? The troops can kiss my leathery backside. All I wanted was to retire and be with her. 
Look, kid, I appreciate what you're trying to do, but don't waste your time. Get a grip. Never let the enemy see your weakness. You know that, General. Enemies? The one place I always felt at peace was with her. But now, so you think it's that easy? Just straighten up and act like a yeah. general? The demo couldn't hurt. Huh. Maybe you're right, Commander. Shaira's worth the effort. Even if she won't have me back. Fine. Now get up and get moving, General. All right. I'll go to her. After I've had a cold shower or two. Say, you're a bright kid. I do think it's great you when... you interested in earning a few extra credits? Sure. What do you want me to do? There's an I do think it's great where um, the pumps in some sense. RPGs say, Why say that? this. So you say because it, and told him, not look, even what they say. I just need you to convince him of the truth. Why can't you tell him yourself? Well, the last time he saw me, I, I was disparaging his ancestors and shouting his secrets in public. Take this data pad. It shows where I got my info. It will exonerate Shaira and convince the Elcor. Who am I taking it to? And where is he? His name is Zeltan. He's an Elcor diplomat. He's I think over we met the him on. complaining about Shaira. I think he was one of the ones we met on well, here's the soldiers Saturday? acting like soldiers. Yeah, that's when we played it Saturday. Saturday, yeah. Thanks, Commander. You know. You might make a good general yourself one day. Make a better one than you. Yeah, we'll go to the council tower, find the... That's the one. Strange greeting, human. We'll this find some more of those keepers. Time. I know who revealed your secret. It was a Turian named Septimus. Unbelieving. I know this Septimus, and he could not learn my secrets. The only way he could learn them is from the Asari consort. Here, there should be proof enough for you. Confused. This is difficult to fathom. If the Turian could learn this on his own, dismayed, anyone can discover my secret. Deal with it. Just make sure you leave Shaira out of it from now on. Agreed, most assuredly. It is clear that the consort was blameless. Startled realization. I must speak with the consort. She will be most displeased with my actions. Anxious request. Please, human, if you will excuse me, I must go now. What? So uh -huh. Farewell, human. Thankful. That was a great thing you did, Commander. Approving. You see, then not all humans are as you say. I'm sure the Earth Clan stands to profit from this in some way. Apologetic. Not... Can I actually speak Earth to Clan, you are in the wrong place, I think. Your ambassador is next door in the large office. Chastising remarks. Now spoke to Don't be so rude, Dan. At least introduce yourself. <sighs> I am Din Korlak, Volus Ambassador. Is there something I can do for you, Earth Clan? Yeah, I need some background law. What is this place? You are in the embassy for the Volus and the Elcor. Your ambassador is next door. In his own office. In this shared space, I aid my fellow Volus when I'm not being interrupted. I'd like to know more about the Volus. I'm sure our history and culture would bore you. Earth Probably. Man. Actually, I would like to know more about your history. My people came to the Citadel shortly after the Asari and Salarians had discovered it. We were instrumental in establishing a standardized galactic economy. 
be yet another part However, of the council. Despite our long association with the Citadel and our many contributions to galactic society, we still do not hold a seat on the council. Tell me about Volus culture. We are tribal by nature, but our ways are not violent. We barter and trade our lands and tribe members in order to increase status. Larger tribes often engulf smaller ones and eventually split again. Our society is very malleable, and our government is always shifting and changing. Since we're not physically adept, we trade our services for protection. What is it you do here? Exactly, what I do you do here? I look out for the best interests of the Volus people. No easy task considering how often we are overlooked by the Council. Chastising rebuke, Din. The Council favors your species greatly. You are naive. The Earth Clan will be invited to the Council long before our species will. Why aren't the Volus or Elcor part of the Council? All species must prove themselves before they join the Council. All but the Earth Clans, it would seem. Dismissive. Ignore the Volus Ambassador, human. He is incorrect in his assessment. Really? How long have we been waiting? How long do you think we'll continue to wait? Bah! This talk is wasted on the humans. You seem to have a bit of a chip on your shoulder, Din. You humans are new to the Citadel, and yet the Council has granted you great favor. <gasps> because we're awesome. Chastising rebuke, Din. Your species has always been granted many concessions. Volus territory has expanded tenfold since coming to the Citadel. <laughs> Details. We still have no real say in the decisions that affect Citadel space. Goodbye, Ambassador. Yes, yes. Good day, Earth Clan. Surprised welcome. You have returned, human. Genuine right, so I've already inquiry. spoke to this guy, so I'll just end the conversation right away. Nothing. Just being a dick, I want to waste your time. My oh, yeah, sexy blue lady. Commander, I recently received a lovely note from Septimus. Thank you for speaking with him. Even the Alcor diplomat has withdrawn his campaign against me. You know what? Let's talk payment. I can't spend gratitude. I would not dream of letting you go without payment. I do not make a habit of incurring debts. These credits will cover your expenses. I also have one more thing to give you, if you are interested. What are you offering me? I offer a gift of words, an affirmation of who you are and who you will become. I see your skin, tough as the scales on any Turian, unyielding. A wall between you and everyone else, but it protects you, makes you strong. You never hide your strength, either. It serves you well, terrifies your foes. Few will dare to stand against you. This may be who you are, but it is not who you will become. It only forms the basis for your future greatness. Mm. Remember these words when doubt descends, Commander. So, so is that it? Uh, thanks, I guess. Close your eyes and relax, Commander. Oh, I. Shepard, Shepard, the, the two lads are still there. G Gavis and uh, Vex are watching. What are you doing, man? Oh, Titanic moment. Here, Commander. In light of your efforts with the Elcor Ambassador, I would like you to have this small trinket. What is it? A small mystery. I have never learned its use or purpose, but I sense it is time for me to pass it on. And now I must ask you to leave. I have done everything I can for you. Oh, yeah, that was a bit abrupt afterwards. Remember my words, Commander Shepard. Look. They will give you strength. So let's get right. We we went and, and did the did in that bubble. Wow, these two just stood there. I mean, boys. I mean, 
guys, lads, I appreciate you being there watching. Nope, you've got nothing yet. Here's one. There you go, that is complete. Anderson. Come on. Udin is presenting the Quarian's evidence to the Council. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. You wanted proof? There it is. This evidence is irrefutable, Ambassador. Saren will be stripped of his Spectre status, and all efforts will be made to bring him in to answer for his crimes. I recognize the other voice, the one speaking with Saren. Matriarch Benezia. Who's she? Matriarchs are powerful Asari who have entered the final stage of their lives. Revered for their wisdom and experience. They serve as guides and mentors to my people. Oh, Matriarch really Benezia guy, is, is a powerful biotic, and she had many followers. She will make a formidable ally for Saren. I'm more interested in the Reapers. What do you know about them? Only what was extracted from the Geth's memory core. The Reapers were an ancient race of machines that wiped out the Protheans. Then they vanished. The Geth believe the Reapers are gods, and Saren is the prophet for their return. We think the Conduit is the key to bringing them back. Saren's searching for it. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Yeah. Do we even know what this Conduit is? It's trouble. Saren thinks he can bring back the Reapers. That's bad enough. Listen to what you're saying. Saren wants to bring back the machines that wiped out all life in the galaxy? Impossible. It has to be. Where did the Reapers go? Why did they vanish? How come we found no trace of their existence? If they were real, we'd have found something. Don't be a fool. I tried fool. to warn you about Saren, and you refused to face the truth. See? That's don't a lot longer than don't be a again. fool. This is different. You proved Saren betrayed the Council. We all agree he's using the Geth to search for the Conduit, but we don't really know why. The Reapers are obviously just a myth, Commander. A convenient lie to cover Saren's true purpose. A legend he is using to bend the Geth to his will. You're wrong. 50,000 years ago, the Reapers wiped out all galactic civilization. If Saren finds the Conduit, it will happen again. Saren is a rogue agent on the run for his life. He no longer has the rights or resources of a Spectre, the Council has stripped him of his position. That is not good enough. You know he's hiding somewhere in the Traverse. Send your fleet in! A fleet cannot track down one man. A Citadel fleet could secure the entire region, keep the Geth from attacking any more of our colonies. Or it could trigger a war with the Terminus systems. We won't be dragged into a galactic confrontation over a few dozen human colonies. Every time it. humanity asks for help, you ignore us. Shepard's right. I'm sick of this council and its anti-human bull- Ambassador, there is another solution. A way to stop Saren that does not require fleets or armies. No, it's too soon. Humanity is not ready for the responsibilities that come with joining the Spectres. Quit holding it. It was a Turian Spectre who betrayed this council, and it was a human who exposed him. I've earned this. Damn right. Commander Shepard, step forward. Yep. That's the mole of life. If you ever you want something, just shout at the people till they give it to you. It is the decision of the Council that you be granted all the powers and privileges of the Special Tactics and Reconnaissance Branch of the Citadel. Spectres are not trained, but chosen. Individuals forged in the fire of service and battle. Those whose actions elevate them above the rank and file. Spectres are an ideal, a symbol, the embodiment of courage, determination, and self-reliance. They are the right hand of the Council, instruments of our will. Spectres bear a great burden. They are protectors of galactic peace. 
both our first and last line of defense. The safety of the galaxy is theirs to uphold. You are the first human Spectre, Commander. This is a great accomplishment for you and your entire species. Yep. Jerk answer. It's about time. I've been ready for this since Eden Prime. We're sending you into the Traverse after Saren. He's a fugitive from justice, so you are authorized to use any means necessary to apprehend or eliminate him. Any idea where to find him? We will forward any relevant files to Ambassador Udina. This meeting of the Council is adjourned. How come the, the platform we're on don't have a forward barrier, but theirs does? Congratulations, Commander. We've got a lot of work to do, Shepard. You're going to need a ship, a crew, supplies. You'll get access to special equipment and training now. You should go down to the CSEC Academy and speak to the Spectre Requisitions Officer. Anderson, come with me. I'll need your help to set all this up. <laughs> Bastard didn't even thank you. What do you expect from a politician? That way. Right. right behind you, Shepard. I'd love to see go. what the Normandy can do in a fight. Only an idiot hopes for combat while flying in a stealth ship. But the stealth drive adds a new tactical level to space combat as we know it. Surprise attacks, undetected flanking maneuvers. This isn't a strategy simulation. If those new tactics don't work, we're salvage. I've got big news for you, Shepard. Captain Anderson is stepping down as commanding officer of the Normandy. The ship is yours now. About time. She's quick and quiet, and you know the crew. Perfect ship for a Spectre. Feed her well, Commander. I'll take good care of her, sir. I know you will, Commander. I want the truth. Why are you stepping down, sir? You needed your own ship. A Spectre can't answer to anyone but the Council. And it's time for me to step down. Come clean with me, Captain. You owe me that much. I was in your shoes. Back on one second, I'm going to grab some water. They were considering me for. Why didn't you ever mention this? What was I supposed to say? I could have been a Spectre, but I blew it. I failed, Commander. It's not something I'm proud of. Ask me later, and I'll tell you the whole story. For now, all you need to know is I was sent on a mission with Saren, and he made sure the Council rejected me. I had my shot came and went. Now you have a chance to make up for my mistakes. Saren's not going to get away this time. Saren's gone. Don't even try to find him. But we know what he's after. The conduit. He's got us Geth scouring the Traverse looking for clues. We had reports of Geth in the Ferro system shortly before our colony there dropped out of contact, and there have been sightings around Noveria. Find out what Saren was after on Pharos and Novaria. Maybe you can figure out where the conduit is before he does. The Reapers are the real threat. I'm with the Council on this one, Shepard. I'm not sure they even exist. But if they do exist, the conduit's the key to bringing them back. Stop Saren from getting the conduit, and we stop the Reapers from returning. I'll stop him. We have one more lead. Matriarch Benezia, the other voice on that recording. She has a daughter, a scientist who specializes in the Protheans. We don't know if she's involved, but it might be a good idea to try and find her. See what she knows. Her name's Liara, Dr. Liara Tassoni. We have reports she was exploring an archaeological dig on one of the uncharted worlds in the Artemis Tau Cluster. Sounds like we should head for the Artemis Tau Cluster. It's your decision, Commander. You're a Spectre now. You don't answer to us. But your actions still reflect on humanity as a whole. You make a mess and I get stuck cleaning it up. I'll take care of Saren. You take care of the political fallout. Not exactly the answer I was looking for, Shepard. Remember, you were a human long before you were a Spectre. I have a meeting to get to. Captain Anderson can answer any questions you might have. Kirk Shepard. Yes, Commander? I want to know the truth about you and Saren. I want to know about the mission you were on together all those years ago. 
We had intel on a rogue scientist being funded by Batarian interests. Wait, ten seconds ago, he, he didn't want to tell us anything AI about the mission. Out in the verge. And now he does. Alliance intel had done all the work, but the Council wanted a Spectre involved. We compromised. I was assigned to help Saren in his investigation. We tracked the scientist to a refining facility on Kamala. He was hidden away somewhere inside, protected by an army of Batarian mercenaries. The plan was simple. Sneak into the plant, capture the scientist, sneak back out. Quick, quiet, and a minimum of bloodshed. I'm guessing things didn't go as planned. Saren and I split up to cover more ground. Then about halfway through the mission, there was a massive explosion in the refinery core. Officially, it was ruled an accident, but I think Saren detonated it on purpose to draw off the enemy guards. He was smart. He needed a diversion. This went way beyond a simple diversion. The explosion tore the refinery to shreds. The whole place was on fire. Black chemical clouds poured out into the atmosphere. Nobody inside survived. Collateral there was damage. a camp for the workers and their families nearby. Between the fires and the toxic fumes, the final death count was over 500. Mostly civilians. Saren didn't care. The target was eliminated. Mission accomplished. And I ended up taking the blame. That ended all talk of me joining the Spectres. Saren caused the explosion. How did he pin it on you? In his report, Saren accused me of blowing his gun. He said it was my fault the guards were ready for us. He claimed that's why it turned into a massacre. Saren's report was all the proof the Council needed to kill my chances of becoming a Spectre. The only thing I care about is stopping Saren. You're right, Commander. It's no good living in the past. Any extra intel you can give me on our colony at Pharos? The entire planet used to be one giant Prothean city. Mostly ruins now. But some of the infrastructure is still intact. The colony tried to build on what the Protheans left behind. We lost all contact with them when the Geth attacked. What do you know about the Artemis Tau cluster? Not much. I've never been there myself. A handful of systems with a few small, uncharted worlds, but no real colonies. Mm -hmm. Might not be easy finding Dr. Tassoni out there. My advice is to look for the world with the Prothean ruins. What can you tell me about Novaria? Novaria's trouble. Always has been. The whole planet's basically a center for corporations to conduct illegal research. Watch your back there, Shepard. Spectres are about the only form of citadel authority Novaria respects. But they aren't popular. What do you know about Armiston Baines? Where did you hear that name? Never mind, I don't want to know. Baines is dead. Has been for quite some time. No, he's not. So why are people talking like he's still alive? It's not common knowledge. Military is keeping it under wraps. Baines was doing some high-level work for the Alliance. Stuff even I wasn't aware of. It's just me, or did he just, like, dead, change his tone straight away? Ship. Everyone suspects it was foul play, but it was never officially investigated. What can you tell me about the ship? I don't know much about it. You should talk to Admiral Kohoku. One of his crews discovered Bane's body. Any idea how to find him? Last I heard, he was up in the tower trying to get the council That's to investigate That's the guy Bane's who was death. next to the computer. We'll go Is talk to him. Is there anything else, Commander? How are you holding up? Honestly, this isn't how I pictured my career coming to an end. Pushing papers really isn't my thing. But you're the one who can stop, Sarah. I believe in you, Shepard. If that means I have to step aside, so be it. I should go. I'll be here if you need anything. This guy. I'm waiting to speak with one of the council. Congratulations on becoming the first human Spectre Commander. I'm certain you'll be up to the challenge. Sorry, I don't think we've met. My name is Admiral Kahoku. It's about time the Alliance got one of our own in with the Spectres. We need people like you to deal with our problems. I got problems is something first. wrong, Admiral? I'm getting stonewalled by bureaucratic assholes. <laughs> Nothing new. Maybe you can help me, Shepard. One of my recon teams was investigating some strange activity out in the Traverse. We lost contact yesterday. Now I can't get clearance to check it out. Suddenly it's a restricted area. But that doesn't apply to you, Shepard. Spectres can go anywhere they want. You could find out why my team dropped out of contact. I'll find them, Admiral. I appreciate that, Commander. I was running out of options. 
I'm gonna stay here and see if I can find anything out through official channels. Won't hold my breath. That's up. another mission it looks like we've got. Yep, missing marines. Go to another system. But this guy knows about Bane. I need to speak to you about Bane, sir. Commander, any luck finding my recon group? Captain Anderson said you had information on Baines. Not as much as I'd like to. One of my crews found him, frozen stiff on board a derelict vessel. The missing recon group? The one I sent you to find? They were scouting the system we found Baines' ship in. You should have mentioned this earlier, Admiral. Baines is already dead. It's too late for him. I'm only concerned about my team. Someone has to find them. Please, Shepard. I'm counting on you. Nice, right, so now we've got more information about that Bane character. I've been raised to see Krogan as bloodthirsty thugs, but you've surprised me, Rex. You are different. The genophage is a lot easier to swallow when all Krogan are savage monsters, isn't it? Why don't you head back to the Normandy, kid? If you stay here in the real world, you might have to learn something. Yeah, they do get a bum deal, the Krogan's like. Come on, boys. To the ship. Stand by, shore party. The contamination in progress. I heard what happened to Captain Anderson. Survives a hundred battles and then gets taken down by backroom politics. Just watch your back, Commander. If things go bad on this mission, you're next on their chopping block. Saren's out there somewhere, and we're gonna find him. Everyone yeah. on this ship's behind you, Commander. 100%. Intercom's open. If you got anything you want to say to the crew, now's the time. Now we do things my way. Listen up, Normandy. This is your commander speaking. We have our orders. Find Saren before he finds the conduit. And I refuse to let anything get in the way of that mission. No one's gonna help us. The Council wants to ignore this. That's no surprise. They've never helped us in the past. No reason they'd start now. But we don't need their help. We can do this on our own. Remember Eden Prime. We all know what happened on Eden Prime. We saw the destruction, we saw the bodies, we saw what Saren did. And I plan to make him pay. Wherever Saren goes, we'll follow. Wherever he searches for the conduit, we'll be there. Hey, this is a we will hunt speech. him to the very ends of the galaxy and bring him down. None of the other species has the guts, grit, or balls to deal with this. So it's up to us. We're the only so ones who can to stop Saren. I swear to you all, we will stop him. Well said, Commander. Captain will be proud. <laughs> he doesn't matter anymore. The Captain's not here. I'm in charge now, Joker, and time's wasting. Get this bird in the air. Yes, sir. Yeah, that's how you renegade it. Look, and thank you for watching. If you would like more content like this, you can find that up here on the left. If you would like to see the uncut version from the previous live streams, you can see all that in the playlist down here. If you'd like to join us on our live streams, hit the subscribe button in order to be kept notified for when we go live during the week. Thank you for watching. I am Yakuo Brewstar, and good night.